Okay, hey guys. Um, so I wanted to come in to just say about this uh, Steam Link here. About um, how I'm able to move it around with my controller and just explain to you guys how the Steam Link works. So, first of all, uh, I have I have my main TV screen up right now, right in front of me, and my two monitors in front of my keyboard and mouse right now. Uh, one with Discord open and the other one with the same picture as what I'm moving right now. Um, so what's happening uh, right now is that the the two the the TV screen that you are remotely accessing is yeah it's it's just kind of it's kind of showing exactly what you see on your monitor so you can alt tab out which I'll show you um, I'll go to for example uh, Google over here which I'm I would need to drag onto this page unless I would rather use the other page which I can right now so I, I, this is my other monitor where Discord was uh, so I can type anything this is yet yeah, this is still with um, uh, this is still with the remote but one thing you can't do is you can't type with the remote control. So right now, as you can hear, I'm clicking uh, all the buttons. Uh, so nothing's showing up. Uh, but you know, if you have your little um, links to all your web pages, you can see all the videos. And uh, yeah, so, it, so it's really helpful. It's, it, if you're gonna get a Steam Link, just keep in mind that if you if you're gonna be using um, your your monitor at the same time as your let's say your friend downstairs is gonna be using the Steam Link, or your friend in your living room is gonna be using the Steam Link, you will have to have a separate monitor to be able to you know play. Um, right now, I can open Fortnite. I I obviously have my streaming. Uh, software down there um so also uh by going to the side of the screen you can also switch so obviously you can hear see here uh i've got all the um this um and i'm pretty sure you can yeah you can just uh like hold i'm using this one right now so you can just like hold like uh your your right trigger uh and then that's kind of just selects things um, and yeah, left left trigger is just like um, the right mouse button. So to be honest, it's it's switched around. The the right trigger you can use it as left click as you would on a mouse, and all of this cool stuff. Um, yeah, so, so you don't have to have or a keyboard, a mouse, or a Steam Link controller to type, um, because on Steam it does come up with a little typing thing and you don't actually have to use a steam link or a keyboard and a mouse to be able to use this because right now i'm using wireless um this is the wireless remote xbox remote and yeah it's xbox one i'm, I'm pretty sure that um xbox 360 wouldn't work uh also you can use the left joystick on your controller to move up and down as you can see and uh, yeah so it's pretty cool i'm going to try and play some uh GTA with this controller, let's see how it works. And so yeah, let's get right onto it. So let's just kind of go and close this. And we can go right onto Steam here. Go onto our library. Uh, we can go right onto GTA 5. And yeah, we can just start it on up like that. And right now, I'm using my controller completely. Um, I'm not gonna be using the keyboard and mouse. And I'm gonna see how compatible this game is with the Xbox One controller. I'm gonna guess that it's it's pretty much most accurate because you know you, you can't get mu much less accurate um, as it is already a compatible game on Xbox One itself as you can see here we're just starting up uh, a few things that I love about the the Steam Link is 
one, it's easy to set up, although you do have to have like a quick gallon at the beginning. Two, make sure that you do have Ethernet or wireless on the same connection as your computer. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to connect it up. Um, and the, the size of the Steam Link, oh, it blew my mind as soon as it came in the package. It's just, it's honestly the size of my, my hand, and my hands are quite small. Um, so yeah, and I'm also very uh, surprised about um, using my two monitors set up over here. Um, they're to my right, and they're the normal monitors that I use for my gaming setup, where I can actually change between them in my in my TV uh, streaming with the um, Steam Link. Another thing about the Steam Link that's so good is the way that it portrays like most things with the mouse. As you can tell, the right trigger is the left mouse button, but I'm pretty sure you can get ease, uh, get over with that easily. Um, I'm pretty sure you can use A to select as well as RT, but uh, I mean right trigger, whatever. Um, yeah, uh, but that doesn't really matter. You can you can get over that. You can work out the controls. But overall, I, I think the Steam Link's pretty pretty good for price. Um, I got it for quite cheap on the Black Friday sales, so. Uh, yeah, it wasn't too expensive. And obviously the Xbox control, uh, Xbox One controllers we already had with our Xbox One. Which cost about, you know, £50, maybe, I don't know what that is in dollars, maybe 65 maybe, maybe 70 But anyway, this is a normal Xbox One controller. There's nothing plugged into the, the, the uh, Steam Link right now. And there's no modifications on it. Uh, yeah, it's just totally wireless. And there's no, you don't even need to click anything on the Steam Link to get it connected up. All you need to do is click the little wireless button on the front of your Xbox One controller. Or the PS4 controller, I don't know about that one. You're probably going to have to plug that one in. I'm not quite sure. But all I'm saying is there's a wireless button. It's very small on the front of the Xbox One controller. And you click that and it should soon, once it's on the Steam Link, downloads, updates and all of this setting up. You should be able to easily connect it right onto your uh, controller and Steam Link. Okay, anyway, so let's wait for this to start up, and I'll I'll see if the controls are exactly the same as uh, Xbox. If they are, this is another way of, you know, if let's say your friend, uh, let's say you are used to Xbox, and you you decide to go. Okay, well, I'm going to go to PC gaming. Then you're like, oh, crap. I, I'm not very good with keyboard, keyboard and mouse gaming. And then you realize, well, I, you know. And then you get this, get this get wireless controller. Let's say it doesn't work. Bluetooth on your uh, little monitor. Also, uh, which you, which isn't very often. But, you know, if, even if it does work on your monitor. Monitors, sometimes they're good. I mean, they could be 4K, but... They could be 4K, they could be 144 uh, refresh, gigahertz refresh rate. But their their monitors never really come in sizes of 60 inches and they never come in flat screens or 60 inches 4K. Monitors are more about the hardcore, you're right in front of you, gaming, sitting at the desk, doing all that. But with the Steam Link, you don't have to do that, you just relax on your, your couch and you just start playing. Um, most games on Steam are compatible with it. I think there's over, God, there's over a hundred thousand games uh, from Steam that are compatible with the Steam, uh, with the Steam Link and controller, which is really good because that covers most of the games. And usually the ones that aren't aren't like covered over with the um, controller. Are usually the free ones or the, the um, less popular ones uh, because obviously uh, they well unless they do they won't have as good as coding as all the other big gaming softwares that has all the budget to make all the coding and or you know hire people and do that so you know most of your games like CSGO if you play Rainbow Six Siege or like GTA like I'm playing even I don't know, even players that know Battlegrounds, even H and Z, they're all compatible with the controller. And, you know, 
it, if you have, if you kind of are not very good with the keyboard and mouse, and you like big screens, and you like to sit in your living room, then this is perfectly fine. Or if you like keyboard and mouse, uh, and you're good at that, and you're good at controllers at the same time, then you can also just go to your living room if you feel like you're watching TV and you're like, oh well, I'm gonna play some games. And you're like, oh wait, my PC's upstairs. Oh wait, I have a Steam Link. All you have to do, if your PC's on and, and everything is set up already, you can just switch your HDMI cable over onto the, uh, the, the streaming of the Steam Link and yeah, you can straight up just play whatever Steam game you want. And it doesn't have to be Steam. You can you can't close Steam um, if you are using the Steam Link. But if if you have two monitors like I do, you don't have to like sort a way out of how to get out of Steam. You just go across to the other monitor and you can do things from there. So you know, overall, I think this is a really good. Um, console slash streaming uh, box set and I think it's well worth the money if you get it on the uh, Black Friday sales. Anyway, talk about the, the slow loading screens. Whew, taking a long time, these are. Anyway, if it doesn't load up, it it's just a review video of the Steam Link and yeah, I hope you I'd be like, leave a like if you're new, subscribe as well. I said that the wrong fucking way around. Subscribe if you're new and leave a like if you like the video. There we go. Having a perfect time. And uh, yeah, all my, okay, so the frame rate right now is about one frames per second. Uh, doesn't seem to be going too well right now. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing too good right now. There's a massive lag, and trust me, it's not my internet connection. But seriously, I cannot play this. Okay, well, uh, that, that's a massive um, problem with the Steam Link then, I guess. Um, maybe it's just that GTA is too like advanced for the Steam Link or something. I'm not sure, but... I don't like the frame rate right now, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's to do with the streaming of the Steam Link and the power of the Steam Link, bearing in mind it's not using the PC specs that it should have, because right now it doesn't seem to be doing too well on the frames. Yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.